guys, so I'm getting ready for a big shoot and I'm putting together all my gear, right? I'm charging all my batteries, all this other stuff. It's a pretty intensive next few days. Uh, it starts on Monday, right? But then after Monday, then I start that big industrial size power wall that, uh, that we're gonna build. And then we're gonna try to finish that in one week. I'm also gonna shoot all that and then upload videos of that stuff, right? So it's a pretty, pretty crazy week that it's ahead of me. But before I do that, I did want to talk about batteries. So let's talk about batteries. If this uh, image looks somewhat different to you, uh, it might be because I am shooting this on a brand new camera. I got a GH5. And I know what you can say. I thought you said you're gonna wait till uh, you had a hundred thousand subscribers, and that is true. But well, we've had a pretty good week. Uh, my channel's been getting a lot of traffic, and so we are actually gonna hit the hundred thousand subscribers pretty soon. And then with this video that I'm gonna shoot this weekend, definitely, definitely get on to make my channel grow. So maybe as soon as like next week or the next week after that, I might be hitting a hundred thousand subscribers, and. I really didn't want to shoot what maybe promised to be one of the biggest videos in my channel uh, yet with a camera that was that might work or might not work or the, the audio port stuff. So I'm just like, screw that. I'm gonna go and buy it. There's just too much on the line to have a camera that's iffy, right? So anyways, batteries. Something's come up in the comments. A few people are saying that uh, it might seem like these batteries are not genuine. Uh, LG, right? And so the, a reason they're saying that is, of course, because, well, I probably did a bad job not doing research beforehand, before putting the video up and stuff. But the reason was because I, I myself believe that the likelihood of these being fake is very, very low, okay? So let's go through the things that people are saying. There's a few videos that are popping up. I have tested a bunch of these. So here's how they come out. Look, this one, 1961 this one 1987 Ooh, 1838 this one's kind of low then this one's 2100 this one's 2000 milliamp hours 2100 and 2100 okay out of the eight cells that i tested three of them came in at 2100 milliamps two of them came in at 2000 milliamps and then two of them came at 1900 well, but almost like almost at 2000 and then two one of them came at 1838 so I think you average out over these eight of them, I think it's somewhere around 2,000 milliamp hours, right? So far, I have a bunch of them here. I'll test them eventually, uh, all of them, and then give you guys an updated, I'll give you an average of what they all come in. But I, I have a feeling that it's somewhere around, so far it's about 2,000 milliamp hours, right? Oh, so one guy made a video saying that these cells seem to be fake because the top of the cell was different. All right, what do you guys think of the tops there? Are they the same or are they different? To me, they look the same, man. All right, I have taken the wrappings off and to see if you guys can tell the difference between those two cells. Which one is the genuine and which one is the one that we don't know if it's genuine. Uh, the sides are a bit different. Okay, so those writings right there, they're pretty similar. See that right there? Okay, you, can you tell which one is the laptop one and which one's the hoverboard battery? But we'll see. Let's see. Let's see if you got it right. Okay, so that the one in the left has an H, so that means that's the hoverboard battery, and the one on the right here is the actual laptop LG. Another reason that several people speculate that these are fake is because the font is different than these ones here that are pulled out of. A laptop pack right and so they've had a few of them and they put them all together side by side and while you're looking at the ones that they claim they're they're known 
LG cells, the font between them is different. So saying that this ones are fake because the font is different than this one, it's, it's not proof that these are fake. So another thing they said is that all of the cells have the same numbers and the same codes. And that that's usually a sign that they're fake because whenever someone prints fake sleeves to rewrap cheap cells, then they only print the one number, right? And so then they make a bunch of them, a bunch of them. But that is true if you're looking at cells in the same pack. But if you look at all my, my eight samples here that I used to test capacity, they all came from different packs. And all of those numbers are different. One, all 29 and 23 and 23, those came from the same pack, right? 0, 28, 0, 19, 0, 28, 0, 28. So, yeah. And finally, the biggest proof that people are saying that these cells are fake is that there is no data sheet, that the data sheet is missing, right? And so, of course, Take a look at this document here, right? I wanna thank Jimmy Tractor. He posted it down in the comments of the other video and it definitely seems like the data sheet from LG. And so now we know that these cells that are you know, just under 2000 milliamps are within spec because the minimum uh, allowed for the cell when it was brand new, it was 1050, right? So 1050 milliamp hours. So when you look at this, 1987, that's only like 30 milliamp hours below the minimum spec, right? And so this is a couple of years after this battery was manufactured and was assembled in a hoverboard battery. You would expect a little bit of degradation, right? We don't know how these were uh, stored, if they were stored in you know extreme temperatures, if they were fully charged for some reason when they tested like those packs or if they were properly you know set to the voltage or whatever. We don't know, it's just a big mystery. We don't know how that company, uh, but we do know that by the, from the time they were manufactured to the time they were sold to the eBay seller, and then now the eBay seller sold them to you, it's been about a couple of years. And how do we know that? It's because of this code. Someone has decoded it and has told us that these are from 2015 manufactured codes. So, are these fake batteries or are these legit genuine LG. I don't know, I guess it's possible that they're fake, but it is just very, very unlikely. Everything points out that these are the real deal. I mean, they there's now the spec sheet's there. The They look identical to known LG cells. Um, and their performance is right there with what the data sheet says, right? On a dead short, a few of these batteries output 50 amps which uh, is way more that's in the spec sheet, of course, but that's just peak, right? Eventually it's gonna drop down. Yeah, there's there's not quite 2200 milliamp hours. At least I haven't out of the first eight that I've done, um, but they're just right there. They're like 2100, 20, you know, 2000 milliamp hours. It is what you would expect for some cells that have been sitting around for a couple of years, I guess. In future video, I'm gonna show you how to use these just the way they are, the way they come from the seller to be able to make a power wall. All right, guys, so I wanna thank you for watching this video. I hope uh, this info uh, has helped you in any way, and I hope that if you bought batteries now, it makes you feel a lot better that knowing that there's a lot of evidence that to point out that these most likely genuine cells. Um, uh, and as always, guys, if you find my videos useful or entertaining, go ahead and check out my patron. Remember, YouTube doesn't really pay us that much to make videos. And so in order to support me and, you know, my adventures and my projects, the best way to do it is through Patreon. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. All right, time to set this up.